Have you ever wondered what the difference is between the $50 FabFitFun box and the $100 Rachel Zoe box of style? Well, we're going to do a smackdown with the spring lifestyle subscription boxes right now. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Nicole, I'm 52 years old, and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I have two adult children and a wonderful husband of 30 years. I love to share with you my beauty finds, tips on anti-aging, as well as other cool things I come across in life. I also do a lot of subscription box reviews, and today we're going to be looking at two very popular ones, the FabFitFun box, which retails for $50 a quarter, and the Rachel Zoe box of style, which retails for $100 per quarter. Order. I do have some codes down below, as do a ton of other people, uh, to save you some money on your first box or your first subscription. I tend to subscribe to these boxes. Well, I don't tend to. I always have. Subscribe to them on an annual basis because that allows me to have the most choice when choices come up for these boxes. Uh, both of them do have choices uh, that come up. FabFitFun has way more choices than Box of Style. Box of Style usually has one or two at the most. Um, but the FabFitFun box, it, it can have so many choices. And then the choices that everyone gets and choices that you only get if you're an annual subscriber. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with the Box of Style because the Box of Style tends to have less items in it. Generally, it has five items. Uh, they are usually a high quality and add up to generally about a $400 value. FabFitFun always has well over a $200 value. Uh, and again, it can range depending on what you select for your selections or what you get in luck of the draw if it's something you don't have a choice on. So here we go with the box of style. I don't have a ton of time to edit this video, you guys, so this might not be as polished as some of my other ones. Uh, you're going to probably see me dropping things and all that because I just wanted to get this up. Um, the first thing in here is a little happy anniversary card. Uh, this is the time of year that my annual subscription gets billed, and so they sent a little note, and it sounds like they included some extra earrings. So um, they do that uh, to annual to <laughs> for annual subscribers uh, on your anniversary. Uh, this time the box, oh, looks like it's a box wrapped in Oh, there's a handbag in here. It's wrapped in the handbag. So this is what it looks like. I finally have scissors here on my little desk, so I no longer have to try to tear these things open. Isn't this cute? Little light pink box. I save these boxes and use them to store things in. I have all kinds of different sizes and shapes that come in super duper handy. Uh, oh, there's also always a little booklet in here, and in it, it talks about why Rachel Zoe and her style team chose the item, gives you the cost, and a little rundown of how you could style the item. So the first thing is this transitional tote, um, and they're saying that it is uh, a $74 value. It's by Shira Lee, and it's called the Arden Tote, and it is a vegan leather. So I'm not vegan or vegetarian, and um, hmm, this actually feels pretty good. The only issue I've ever had with vegan leather is sometimes it seems to split and get funny looking at the seams. I don't know if you've had that too. So I usually like leather bags. I find that they last longer, uh, but I do have to say that this one feels pretty soft and good. So this is what it looks like, and uh, yeah, it's nice. It's semi-cute. Um, it doesn't zip or anything. I usually like my bags to zip. Oh, but it does have a magnetic closure. Here, let me show you this. Um, so it's got one of the little, oh, I can't see what I'm doing. So, you know, like this. So at least it does have that. I just don't like it when bags just can gape open. Let's see, is there a zipper? Oh, good, there's a zipper. I, one beef I had with this, a few of the other bags, they've had the toes, they've been uber cute. Don't get me wrong, they've been super cute. But they didn't even have a little zippy pocket for just, you know, your keys or your, phone or just if you had something kind of more precious you needed to zip away. I don't always like it just to be flying free down there. So that's nice. Um, so it feels good and it's pretty cute. Um, I don't think it's my favorite bag I've ever had and they have had other ones in this box of stuff before that I've probably liked better, but not bad. I mean, I wouldn't pay $75 for it just because, I mean, I like this style, but I feel like, oh my God, I must have that. So yeah, pretty good. Let me know what you think. So here's the bag. It's kind of cuter than I thought, huh? Oh, and here's my room, in case you haven't seen it before. We like antique French furniture. <laughs> and now to open the box, ta-da! 
going to go ahead and pull out these sunglasses. I did have a choice on these. There was a tortoise or a black, and I went ahead and I went for the black because I think the last time I had a choice of something here, I got tortoise for sunglasses. I think that was like at least a year or so ago. Um, but I think it's really nice that for, you know, summer coming, that they put sunglasses in here. And these are by, let's see, See, they call them the Bold Basic. Oh, they're by Diff. They are the Bella sunglasses. They have an $85 value. Oh, and for every pair that Diff sells, they provide the gift of sight to someone in need. And each frame is hand cut, making them more comfortable and flexible for everyday wear. Oh, well, that's cool. So let's see how comfortable and flexible they are. Uh, I think the shape looks like it's pretty cool. Let's take it out of all of its packaging. Let's see if they're comfortable. Oh, well, there we go. Look at myself in the mirror down here. They are very comfortable, I have to say. I'm probably going to take them down to Costco. Um, just so you know, Costco, their um, glasses, glasses department, optical department is awesome. They will take your glasses, even if you didn't buy them there, and they'll go ahead and do that little heady uppy thing and bend them out to make them more comfortable. Somehow, I've got a pretty small head, but I don't know if I've got like a big part of it here or whatever, but I always feel like my head gets pinched by sunglasses. So, you know, the more I'm looking at these, they are pretty cute. Okay, I like these and I will use them and uh, I just have to go get them adjusted here so I'm not pinching my head too much. All right, on to the next thing. Oh, R and Co. All right, this is the Waterfall Moisture and Shine Lotion and I love the R and Co. I think it's TV star, or television star shampoo and conditioner. If I want to be completely sure I'm having a good hair day. If I use that, I always will. Um, so this will be nice to try another thing by them. I have a whole bunch of things by them. In fact, I'm about to do a video on them, but this probably won't make it in because I haven't tried it yet. Um, so unless I put off doing the video until I've tried it, but uh, we'll see on that. So they're saying that this is something you would apply to wet hair to leave your locks shiny, soft and free of flyaways. You can apply it to your dry hair to moisturize your ends. Oh, you know, this might be good. Like, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get like right here, if I piece of hair break off, you know what I mean? Maybe that'll help it lie down if I'm not using like brow gel or something. Uh, this has a $29 value and, oh, it's supposed to smell good. Let's smell it. All their stuff smells really good. Let's pull the little thing off of here. If I can do that. It's little plastic things. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Do you ever have that where you're supposed to pull that one part and the rest is supposed to come off and then it <clears throat> never really does? All right, we're going in with the scissors. Okay, this is tough stuff. <laughs> okay. It's like psycho. All right, wait. Oh my God. Okay, finally. Jeez. Oh, it does smell really nice. Hmm. Very just light and fresh. Okay, cool. All right. I will peel that off correctly later on. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited about this. I remember seeing this in the spoilers. This is a bracelet. It's by Buy You With Love. And wow, it's brighter gold than I thought it would be. Okay then. Um, they say that this has a $195 value. Uh, this is designed by Nikki Reed. Is she one of the people that was in the vampire movie? Uh, I forgot what they were called, the sparkly ones. Um, <laughs> you guys tell me in the comments. Um, I think so. And they're saying wear it alone as a statement for everyday glamor or pair with other stackable pieces. Uh, this is made out of recycled br brass and plated with refined 14 karat yellow gold. Okay, well maybe that's why it's so shiny gold. Uh, here, we'll try it on. Let's see. It's just so, okay, look, here I've got another gold bracelet on. Let's see. It's just a different tone of gold. A little, just a little brighter, a little yellower. Hmm, okay, well, I'll try it on if I could actually, you know, get my fingers to function. Right now I have no nails at all. I um, They've just been terrible lately. So I finally, you know what I did? I broke down and I bought the Tati vitamins, the hair, skin, and nails to see, if, oh my God, I'm just so lame. I cannot do this, um, to see if that would help my nails. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Oh my God. Here, wait, let me move my other bracelet down and maybe this will work better. Come on. Yay. Okay. So that's what it looks like five years later. Um, it's actually quite cute. You know, I think if I mixed it in with some other bracelets too, maybe it's not too gold. I'm looking in the mirror now. You know, it could be that my lights are making it look so shiny, extra shiny. But no, actually, you know, I think I do like this. 
Ooh, okay, and here are my earrings that I got. Oh, and they match. Okay, this is so cute. All right, now I feel better. I just don't know if I have earrings as shiny gold as this. That was one thing I was worried about. <gasps> Look how cute. Now I have a matching set. Ah, if I could like bring it to show you. Cute. Okay. I'm very happy about this. They're lightweight too, but they look substantial. You know, I mean, they don't, they don't feel lightweight cheap, but they're not like gonna drag your ears down. Don't you hate that? Do you get, do you get that where your ears like start to hurt because your earrings are too heavy? So I'm very happy about this. Well, thanks Box of Stone. I'm glad I'm an annual subscriber. And then the last item I'm very excited about, Erna Lazlo. I used Erna Lazlo for about 10 years straight as my main skincare before I was doing YouTube and trying all these other things. Um, they were one of just my staples. I found their whole ritual basically because there's like a way you wash your face and splash 15 or 30 times and, and all this stuff and you know I'm really excited that Erna Lazlo is now in a subscription box. This is their Hydrofill Skin Supplement and uh, basically you can use this kind of you know on a cotton pad or apply it with your hands uh, and this one they say will reveal your softest most hydrated skin with this cult favorite. Yeah I've used this before. I think I actually have this uh, right now. I should do a review about Erna Lazlo. Let me know if I should do a review about Erna Lazlo and let me see what the value of this is. I don't remember, um, but it has a $68 value. So was this worth $100 to me? Well, I don't really pay $100 because with the annual plan, you save a bit of money. But was it worth like $75? Um, I think it was because I really like these earrings and having the bracelet to go with it is cute. I will totally use this Love Erna Laszlo. Uh, I'm happy that I will, whoops, be able to try this. And the sunglasses, I mean, you know, they're, like I said, I don't think at this point, I mean, let me wear them a while and see what I think. I don't know if they're my total favorite. Um, probably for me, the one thing that I'm not as into is the bag. But again, it's not like ugly or anything. It's just not my 100% favorite. Let me throw all this stuff back in the box so we can move on to our Fab Fit Fun box. Uh, I do like that Box of Style really does pick things for the season. It's not random and you usually will get one makeup or skincare item. Uh, you'll get um, like usually a jewelry item, then a handbag or wallet or clutch or some little thing like that. So it's kind of nice um, rounding out, you know, your wardrobe. Once in a while you'll get like a, a hat. I've received one hat I didn't like. One hat that was a fantastic uh, summer hat. Loved that. Uh, and beach bags. There have been some really good things in here. Oh, and I've been getting the box of style since the second box came out. Uh, and Fab Fit Fun, I started that pretty soon after they came out too. So their boxes are always very brightly colored. Uh, they come shipped like this or in a larger box if you have added anything on. Both Box of Style and FabFitFun do add-ons where they will have uh, good prices, sometimes killer prices in FabFitFun's case especially, on some items that uh, you know normally you would pay full price or only find at a small discount at regular stores or online. They have a big old magazine because they have so many choices and things to talk about and then they usually have, um, let's see, like in here they have a couple articles. Uh, Gina Rodriguez is on the cover of this one. They usually have some movie star or somebody on there. And then they always give to a charity every single time. So um, what they're saying here, I'm just looking at the big old thing. The value of your box can range from $232 to $503, depending on what you've chosen. So um, that is pretty cool. That's what it looks like. I'll just tear this open. That's what's inside. The first item with a $40 value is the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, a multitasking beauty sleep savior for better nights and brighter mornings. Uh, you should use it nightly after bathing and before bedtime to restore and nourish your skin whilst you sleep. This is a body lotion. Let's see what it smells like. I'm guessing lavender. What do you think? <laughs> Seems to usually be what they put when it's something that's supposed to help you. Oh yeah. Smells like lavender. All right, well, that'll be nice. Who doesn't need a nice lavender lotion? And it looks like it has water, glycerin, steric acid, um, castor seed oil, um, shea butter. Yeah, so the first ingredients here look quite nice. All right. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I had a choice on this. This is a wrinkle treatment. Um, it's one of those lights, the infrared lights, and it has red, amber, red or amber light in it. And uh, yeah, so this is, let's see what it looks like. 
I don't think it's, yeah, it's not very large, but allegedly you, well, it came with batteries too, <laughs> batteries included. I guess you take this thing and then you hold it up to your, that's very lightweight. I mean, it doesn't have the batteries in it yet, but, and then you hold it up to where you want and um, do a little bit of infrared light on yourself. So that's cool. Okay. And it says the surface might feel warm. I'm very excited to try this. And this had a value, I think this was pretty pricey. Let me find the right page, uh, $68. Oh, well, it's not that bad. I thought it would be more than that. Hmm. The next item is by Pure Least. This is their Watermelon Energizing 2 Minute Polishing Peel. Um, have not tried this before. I do love their, um, it's their oh, Blue Lotus. It's kind of like a, a milky, very, very soothing uh, cleanser that they have. I love that one for the morning or if I've done anything to my skin, like a, an acid or something where if my skin's feeling more sensitive, I love that stuff. Um, so this is supposed to help you exfoliate and look forward to trying it. Wow, it has, Hummus in it. Interesting. Has glycolic acid. I don't know. I'll have to see if this works for me. Uh, silicone straws. I totally do not recall this being a choice. Maybe it wasn't a choice. Um, but look, silicone straws. Oh, good. There's a cleany thing. There's a little teeny brush to clean them with. Okay, that's good. And what is this? I, what? Oh, this must be a little carrier because they're silicone. They probably squash up. That is so nice because that's the other thing. You know, with these straws, I guess you have a big case, but how nice to have something to squash in there and not worry about. That's great. Okay, how cute is that? And the silicone straws, um, what is your value, little silicone straws? Uh, 7A. So these are all mapped, you know, to the description. Uh, they are $15, and this is by Chic and Tonic. Next, there is a body oil by Habanera Marionella. And uh, it is, what, it's probably, what, four ounces. And let's see what your value is. And it is 4B. You are uh, $68. It's supposed to moisturize and replenish your skin with 100% pure oils and vitamins. Okay, I have dry skin, so this will be fabulous. And I am assuming this is for the body because it is so large. Um, and just so you know, it's made with... Uh, Mangano oil, pomegranate seed oil, marula oil, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, argan oil, and vitamin E. That's all really good stuff. So this, this sounds like it will work very well. Yeah, body oil, body oil. Okay. All right. This I am really happy about. I wanted to give this to my daughter. It's a weighted sleep mask. Uh, we all got weighted blankets for Christmas around here. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, you know, sometimes has trouble sleeping and I think she will love this. So I selected this for her and it weighs up to one pound, it says. Uh, I can let some of the little beads out or something. But um, yeah, this is by Gravity. And here, she won't mind if I open it up. So they are, okay. That'll probably feel good. Very cool. Okay, I'm excited about that for her. I love packing cubes and I selected this because I thought they were really fun. The ones I haven't really played, we've got some that are black, blue, and kind of some beigey ones. They're not very cute. Um, and I thought these were a really cute design. If you have not used packing cubes, let me know if I should do a video about it. It has changed the way I travel, you guys, because you can put like all the pants into one, all the shirts into another, all that. And that way when you're, you're no longer having that total mess in your suitcase, um, I now, and you, or you can do by outfit. And if you're just going for, you know, you just want to do a short trip, you know, do it by outfit, have smaller packing cubes. It's unbelievably life-changing. Also, to unpack, you can just throw it into drawers. And then when you want to repack, zip them up, put them back into the drawers. I mean, it, into your uh, suitcase. It's so much easier. And also, your clothes don't touch the drawers that God knows what else has been in there, which I like too. So I'm super excited about these. The packing cubes were um, $40. The ones I have are from Amazon and they were less expensive, but uh, you know, whatever. Just check into packing cubes, they're wonderful. This is Scandinavia Setting Spray. This is the original one, right? Yeah, the original. I have a big bottle of this and I have a little tiny travel one. I'm so happy that this was a choice. This is the best setting spray I have ever used. A uh, little tip for me, uh, when you use it or any other setting spray, uh, get a beauty sponge, uh, you know, and then whether it's, you know, clean and wet or dry, and then just push in the setting spray. Oh my God, you will not believe how much longer your makeup will last. Huge, huge difference. And then this size has a value of, 
Let me find it. I'm totally not seeing the setting spray. This is so weird. Well, I think that the setting spray is at least like $20, $25. Let me show you really quickly how this choice stuff works. So if you are just subscribing to the box one time or 20 times, doesn't matter, you get to choose from this stuff. So you get a choice out of one, two, three, four, five, six items here. So the choices range from anything from like the light therapy thing I got to the sweater, the, um, there's a woven rug here, um, this tote, uh, tie dye bowls, or uh, a recovery cream by LMS. Um, then your second set would be either of the packing cubes, the Murad, collagen infusion, the umbrella, these other things. Then if you are a select member, okay, then there's another set of choices here. Um, and then if you're a select member, you get to choose from these other items, a detangling brush, uh, the oil that I chose, um, tea towels, Aveda, daily hair repair, you know, some kitchen towels, all kinds of stuff like that. And then there's a bunch of items here and FabFitFun will just pick for you. So two items are a total surprise. And in there, there's everything from salt and pepper shakers to the straws. That's why I was like straws. I didn't choose those. Uh, the Pure Lee sponge gel. Oh God, sponge gel sponges are fabulous. Um, something by Wander Beauty here. Glad I didn't get this. I'm not really a fan of that mascara very much. Um, Ciate eyeliner. So now comparing the boxes, this box only cost $50, right? And if you use the code that I have or somebody else's, you can get your first one for like $40. So was this worth $40 to me? Let's see here. I'm really happy about this weighted mask. This would have probably cost $15 or $20 if I purchased this just for Danielle, so that's worth it. I would totally be repurchasing my uh, setting spray if I ran out, so that's totally worth it. And this is worth at least $20 or so. Uh, let's see. These, eh, I don't know if I would have bought these or not. I mean, they're good to have, but honestly, I'm not organized enough probably to always have them with me. My husband, you know, he's not gonna have them in his pocket or whatever. I might just give those to my son. Um, he'll, he will probably like those. This uh, jury's out. I'm not sure because it has pumice, the first couple ingredients. So not sure if I would have ever picked that one up. I am very excited about this. So, um, and this lavender cream smells good and had great ingredients. So, so far, I think that that was really worth it for me. What else have we got here? Did I miss anything? Oh God, yes. My packing cubes. Yes, so this was totally 100% worth it to me because I love packing cubes and these are really cute. One thing about packing cubes though, they do add weight. So if you are someone who travels really lightly and wants to keep the weight down, there are some really good ones at REI that I can recommend that are like parachute material. They're fantastic. They're by Eagle Creek. Uh, they cost a little bit more for what you think you're getting, but they fit a lot. And they can't keep things as organized as these. Like if you've got really nice dress shirts, there's more like little stuff sacks, but I find them great for you know t-shirts, underwear, bras, you know, swimsuits, things like that. Okay, sorry off the packing cubes. I swear I really should do a video about it. Oh, and I'm excited about this oil too. So yeah, I think this one was actually maybe a little bit more worth it for me this time. If you're looking at the proportion of the money, because this was only a $50 box, it was a hundred, but I like most of it. So I'm really glad I got both of them. I think they're both worth it. Right about now, YouTube should be popping up a couple of videos for you that you might like to watch if you have time to hang out longer. And don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't joined my community yet. It really helps me out if you like, subscribe, comment, even if you just say hi, because it lets YouTube know that people are engaging with the video and enjoying it. And then they push it out to more people, which really helps my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day and it's not goodbye, but so long till next time.